How do you do? I'm Graham Murphy, a product manager at Tech Rentals. Uh, today I'm going to look at the um, Testo 184G, which is a, um, a little data logger. It monitors temperature and humidity. We're renting these in a kit of 10. I'll just quickly go through how to operate this device. Thank you. To configure the Testo 184G1, we just simply open it up and plug it into our PC. The PC will pop up with one of these and we just simply open a folder to view the files. Now when it's popped open, we'll notice that the fact that there is a, um, a Testo 184 configuration PDF. So I'll double click on that. It's opened the PDF and we notice that we've got the um, normal mode and expert mode on the right hand side here. So I'm going to select expert mode. We're going to enter some um, information in here, such as, in this case, I'm going to enter my uh, email address. And also, I'm going to enter in, I could put some comments here, etc. I'm going to set the sampling, in this case, instead of 15 minutes to 1 minute. And uh, the rest of it, um, I'll, in that section, I'll leave the same. Now, in this alarm section, I'm going to put uh, alarms. I'll set it up at uh, something a little higher than 6 degrees, of course. Um, but I'll set it at about uh, 25 degrees now. There we go. And uh, the, uh, the humidity and the um, G alarms can be set also. Now, what we do is we just simply click this button. Now, we'll ask to save it. And we need to browse to the directory which we've just opened. So just, we've got to make sure we save it there. So I'll go to my computer. And it's the Testo Logger and we simply save this file and once we've done that we can exit out of the PDF so that we don't bother to save anything else. Right, the instrument has been configured now, I remove it from the PC. Now we could have copied that file to other, uh, other same years, exactly the same startup file etc. to others, that, that, other these instruments etc. Now at the moment on the display this instrument says the word wait which means it's waiting for an input in order to start because we made it a button start. We could have made it a time-based start and disabled the buttons. Now, if I push and hold the start button for three seconds, we're now recording. So we're recording once a minute, temperature, humidity, and vibration. So I'm going to leave it here and record a little bit of data. One interesting thing is that while this uh, device is logging, so you might have left it in situ, etc., you can actually check the readings and transmit the readings very easily. If you've got an Android phone which has been configured uh, with the Testo 184 application, it's got uh, near field communication, so consequently you can simply put the phone on top of the logger, recognises the logger, reads the data, then you hit the send key. Very, very neat operation. So this, these things could be, you can get somebody to check all the measurements and transmit the measurements to you halfway along, etc and it'll give all the, the alarm figures and uh, but it won't give you the detail, it'll just give you the, the summary of the alarms. Okay, we've finished um, our recording, we may have finished the trip and as I say, we could put a, um, an Android phone and using NFC capture the data, indicates we're flashing our head here, we've had an alarm situation indicated there. So I'm going to push stop now, so we've finished our recording, hold it down for a couple of seconds, bang, it's now gone to end which indicates that it's been a little bit hard to read there, the word end, and indicates the fact that it's finished. So I'm going to now open the device, plug it into our PC. Okay, we've installed the logger, and uh, this window pops up again, so I'm going to open and view the particular folders. Now you'll notice here the fact that we've got now got a report. Now I can double click, open that report, and here's all the data, it's wonderful. We've got, um, we've got a graph, the whole lot, everything's on that PDF report. Unable to be modified, the alarm, the fact that the alarm has gone off is tagged. Now, if you want a little bit more detail on this PDF report replies, for example, you may want to load the data into Excel, what you've got to do is the fact that there's a USB memory stick supplied with the device. On that memory stick is some software called Comfort Software. If you've got admin rights, you install this onto your PC. If you do not have admin rights, it won't work. You must have admin rights to install this software. So we install the software on this PC. So I'm just going to start it up. It's already been installed. There's a code required to install it, and that's all on the, um, on the memory stick. Now, we've run the software up. We can already see it's identified the particular logger, and there's a report. Now, if I double-click, it brings up the equivalent of the PDF report. 
There was movement here, you know, temperature, etc., humidity variations, the whole for bit. Now I want to create a CSV file for, for and see the detail of this. So I'm going to click on Testo button, not Start. I click uh, Save as CSV, right, and now it opens up and says, "Well, where do you want to save it?" My Documents folder, Test One, save it there. Bring up my Documents folder, and I'll find Test One dot CSV on here. There it is. There. We now have all the detail in Excel. Now it has opened it up because of the CSV file. It um, opens it in a single column. Now to fix that, highlight that column, click on data, click on um, text to columns, and select it as delimited. Uh, it's a semicolon. It's delimited with a semicolon, and click finish. Now all of our data is nicely in columns. I'll double click on those two, and there's our date, time of reading, degree C, RH. Very nice little logger. Kit of 10 makes, um, you know, it can be used across many applications. It's been designed essentially for uh, pharmaceuticals, etc. But it's a uh, very nice little device. And um, if you've got any questions, please uh, put them uh, put them in the comments area. Uh, and if you have a look down in the um, amongst the text there, you'll find uh, links to other things that tech rentals do, um, please subscribe to our channel if you're uh, if this looked interesting. Thank you very much.